Hello everyone and welcome to the 2021 Argyle Lunar New Year celebration. My name is Greg Carroll and I'm the Director of Partnerships and Events at Uptown United, your host organization for this event every year. And along with our partners, 48th Ward Alderman Harry Osterman and the Argyle Business and Nonprofit Community, we are so excited to bring this virtual program to you today. You know, traditionally, we on this day each year, we're all getting bundled up and heading out towards Argyle to watch the parade, usually in the freezing cold. Uh, but this year, we've gone virtual and we're still excited to bring you the same groups from the parade. You'll see some performances from uh, groups that march with us every year. And you'll also see some special features on the businesses and a little bit of the history of Argyle. So we're so excited to have you with us today. Uh, a reminder to support your local businesses. They need your support now more than ever. So sit back, relax, grab that cup of coffee or tea, go ahead and order food from your favorite Argyle restaurant and enjoy the show. Choi. I'm Harry Osterman, Alderman of the 48th Ward. I want to thank all the businesses at Argyle for celebrating our Asian Lunar New Year. This year is the year of the ox. It's going to be an exciting year at Argyle. 
ask everyone to come out and visit all of our great restaurants and great businesses that have been staying open, making sure that they're providing food for everyone. Come visit the wonderful Argyle and see the great culture that we have here. Have a happy and safe new year. Hi there, I'm Hawk Tran, staff member of Business Partners of Chamber for Uptown, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Roots of Argyle mural. It's a depiction of different waves of migration from the last century, from the 1900s all the way up until 2000. People from Europe, from different parts of America, Appalachian whites, a lot of Southern blacks moved here, as well as Japanese people. And there's also a large Native American population that called Argyle and Uptown home. As we approach like the 1980s and 2000s, uh, there was a kind of a shift between Chinatown and the South Side to here after the onset of the Vietnam War. The Chinese population tried to establish this as a second Chinatown. Uh, the end of it, there's a huge influx of refugees from Southeast Asia, including Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, that called uh, Uptown home and they established businesses, they, um, you know, opened restaurants and create a community. Um, as you can see today, as you walk down Argyle Street, it is definitely Asia and Argyle. On behalf of the board of directors and all the uh, VAI staff, I want to wish you all happy, happy um, New Year, a good, good health, good fortune, and prosper. Um, and I hope you all um, uh, enjoy uh, working with VAI, and I hope that you continue to support and work with uh, VAI on, and our community. Thank you, and Happy New Year. Chúc mừng năm mới. Happy Lunar New Year. Bye.
Graceland was formed in 1860 as part of the Rural Cemetery Movement. This was a movement that focused more on the nature and the beauty of the cemetery rather than the typical graveyard aspects. This followed in similar form to cemeteries such as Mount Auburn in Boston, Laurel Hill in Philadelphia, and Greenwood in New York. Cemeteries were idealized at the beginning of the rural cemetery movement as beautiful nature parks. A focus was put on more landscape features such as winding curved roads, naturalistic landscape beds, and plantings throughout the cemetery. Much of the original founder's intent is still apparent in the design features that you see today. Graceland Cemetery is definitely one of Uptown's gems. Let's take a look at some of the hidden gems inside of it. Sometimes Uptown's history is a little bit hidden. Behind the ivy here is a portrait of Dr. Brainerd, the founder of Rush University. I am a docent for the Chicago Architecture Center and I give tours here at Graceland Cemetery. One of the tours I give here at Graceland Cemetery is Women of Influence and we highlight the contributions of women to the city of Chicago. So this is the Schoenhofen Mausoleum, and this was made by architect Richard E. Schmidt in 1893 for Peter Schoenhofen and his family. And it's a very eclectic mix of Egyptian iconography and Victorianic. So as a historical cemetery, we have a lot of archival information in our cemetery vault. Typically when you come to a cemetery, you're just looking for where the person is buried. But because of Graceland's extensive historical documentation that we have, we can likely offer you more information on your family. Graceland Cemetery is one of my favorite places to come in to work. Uh, it's so quiet and peaceful. You know, early morning when we come to set up, we see the coyotes scattering about. And then throughout the day, we get to just work in these mature trees. We want you to know that we are still an active cemetery. We still have space for burials. There are affordable options here for a burial. And anyone is accepted, regardless of faith or anything. We want you all to feel welcome. We are open to everyone. And we are a green space as a resource, but we also want you to know that we have a lot of historic information of the people who came before you that are buried here and they had a legacy they're leaving behind. And we have so much information with regard to the neighborhood and the diversity that exists in Uptown that it's really a place we want people to feel comfortable coming to. Even though the cemetery will one day become full, it will remain alive with the visitation of loved ones, paying their respects, and people enjoying the green space and really taking in the beauty of Graceland. Everyone is welcome to Graceland. I am Jennifer Nuki Pham. I am the marketing director and co-owner of Mini TX Pharmacy, also known as Mini Pung Sa Pharmacy. We've been here for over 37 years. This is the first Vietnamese business on the street. When we first started, it was a hodgepodge of different businesses within one. In this space that we're standing in right now, it was not only a pharmacy, it was also a doctor's office. It was a video rental store, a music store. You can get your karaoke systems and all types of fun things. Families are still now coming here to this day. So the mothers and the daughters, their kids are just now coming here.
Audi Sensor Center wish you a new year full of happiness and good health. 祝大家牛年好事连连，好梦圆圆，吉祥如意，身体健康。Kính chúc quý vị năm mới sức khỏe dồi dào, vạn sự như ý. You are in one of our four sites, and this is our Chicago historic landmark. You are welcome to come visit our infant toddler, preschool, and school age programs, or just come and enjoy a hot meal with our seniors. So here we are at Viet Hoa. I think it's one of the oldest uh, grocery stores in the area. Like it kind of looks exactly the same. Also, God mot ngai zup viet. If y'all looking for a job, they're hiring. If you want to start building your Asian kitchen, you could come to Viet Hoa and they literally have everything. If you like your spring rolls, you can make it yourself. This brand is especially good. Especially if you want to build up your pantry, you got to get all the sauces. Pad Thai sauce, sweet chili sauce here, sriracha. My favorite aisle, the snack aisle. Rice crackers. Oh yeah, this stuff. This is from Vietnam. Dehydrated jackfruit chips. If you're chubby like me, the snack aisle is your favorite as a kid. If y'all never had high chews, these are delicious. Bubblegum texture, but you can swallow it, you know? This is everyone's favorite candy growing up. Green peas, sriracha peas. <laughs> They even got these little chairs like in Asia where you sit on the street, you know, <laughs> eat. Nookie, what's your favorite vegetable? You're a vegetarian, right? So this actually smells like fish. It's a mint that you eat with like, you know, or like an herb that you eat with like all the fresh um, Vietnamese food, but it has an, a fish essence, which is like really surprising. It's my absolute favorite. Yeah, you got culantro, mint, basil, Thai basil, holy basil even, which is like hard to find, but now I've, apparently they have it here. Thai chili. Oh yeah, here. This is uh, basically Nookie as a child, and this is me as a child. Sorry. Come to Viet Hoa, get your groceries for super cheap, and make a delicious meal.
everyone. Uh, we hope that you're enjoying the program so far. Uh, there's lots more to come, uh, but we wanted to take a moment again to remind you to support um, local businesses. Uh, please support all the businesses on Argyle. Uh, one thing that we're doing this year is uh, many of the businesses on Argyle have some uh, red envelopes that are tradition to give out during the Lunar New Year. Uh, so inside of these envelopes, you can find a free sticker and inside a select few, you'll find a golden ticket, which is good for a prize from Uptown United. So make sure you support local businesses, pick up your red envelope, and to find a list of participating businesses, you can go to our website, exploreuptown.org. We also want to take an opportunity to thank our sponsors uh, for this year's event. Um, without them, this event, this program, the lanterns that you're seeing out on Argyle this year would not be possible. Uh, big thanks to our presenting sponsor, Graceland Cemetery and Arboretum here in Uptown, as well as our event sponsors, the Buttercup Park Advisory Council, Latin School Chicago, Northside Archery Club, and Timeline Theater. So thank you to all of those businesses and organizations for your support.
So here we are in front of uh, Chinese Mutual Aid Association. It is a community-based organization uh, that serves immigrant and refugees from, originally from Southeast Asia. The way we help people is through direct services, including um, youth programming. So we have after-school programming. We have two teen mentorship programs. We have summer camp programs. We also have workforce services. We help people with resume creation, interview skills. We help set them up with our employment partners for jobs. We also have English as a second language classes, and we offer citizenship and immigration case assistance, social services, like helping people um, get Medicaid and SNAP benefits. Um, and we have our biggest program is our in-home services program, where we have home care aides that go into the homes of elderly and disabled folks and help them with daily tasks. Um, such as bathing or meal preparation. For more information on Chinese Mutual Aid Association or any of the services that we offer, please visit our website at www.chinesemutualaid.org.
Hi, I am Kelly Chang. I'm the general manager here at Sunwa Barbecue, located at 5039 North Broadway in Uptown Chicago. We moved up here officially about 87, and we were in our Argyle store for about 23 and a half years. It was mostly mom and dad, along with their partners that ran the store originally. Uh, 12 years ago now, myself, my brother, and my youngest sister took over the reins. Today, we've moved into our current location here on Broadway. And between the three of us and our parents, we're the ones who run the restaurant now. Here at Sunball Barbecue, our menu is so diverse. You will find all kinds of different Hong Kong style food from traditional banquet food to street style food. Anywhere from crab meat uh, and fish moss soup to tripe to wonton noodles. Uh, very simple or very complicated dishes uh, you would be able to find here at Sun Wa. The most famous item on our menu is the Beijing Duck Dinner. We firmly believe that Hong Kong style food and Cantonese cooking in particular is the best Chinese food you would find anywhere else in the world. Traditionally made Peking duck just didn't do it for me. Because of my own personal experiences being totally horrible eating that stuff in Beijing, I came home and told my dad, Daddy, everyone says that Beijing duck in, in Beijing is so delicious. He goes, well, what did you think? It sucked. It was terrible. Well, why? Like, I felt like I was eating wet newspaper wrapped in cardboard. Like, it just wasn't flavorful at all. And he kind of chuckled and many years later told me the reason why I didn't like it there at the time was really because I grew up on Hong Kong style roast duck. Very powerful flavors, super intense, five spice, especially anise flavor, bean paste. Someone pointed out and said, hey, you know, you guys could do that. Everyone kept talking about it. We were joking about it. And then one night it happened to just be Mike, Laura and myself. I said, well, what do you think? Being in from culinary school, Aud McElroy said, well, what if we change this? It could work. My brother said, well, you know me, I'm mostly brawny, not so brainy, so you figure out how to sell it, I'll cook it. I can do that. Okay. We said, well, if you do this, I'll do that. Fine, I dare you. Okay. First uh, weekend, we had a handful of reservations. After seeing one reservation get their duck, the entire room decided they wanted duck too. Since then, uh, it has become something that we regularly do. And again, it's become the big elephant in the room that everybody knows about. And apparently garnered the attention of the James Beard America's Classics Committee. If we didn't have our dad and our mom and their partners really build up and say, this is the way to do it and stand firm and then kind of lead us to say, yes, your thinking is right. You do have to change your food to suit the taste of your client base without losing your identity, then you have a quality product. And if you can make this quality product consistently, someone's going to notice. I think that Sunwise is an uptown gem because we are a family, not because just as the owners were a family. Our customers consider us family, we consider them family. For us personally, uh, family is a big deal and community is a big deal. I think one of the things that makes Sanwa really a gem is that we are part of the community. Well, I have a lot of actually favorite things about Uptown that I like besides the community, obviously. The biggest draw is the lakefront. We are right on the shore. Uh, you can take a walk, you can fly a kite. We've tried. As kids, we've tried, uh, although that never went well. I don't know why. <laughs> we can barbecue there. We've certainly done that a lot of times with our family and our cousins. And then really it's the events that are around uptown that are favorites, whether it's Pride Parade um, or New Year uh, Parade or even Night Market for us. Uh, you know, all the events that happen around uptown are fun um, and they're exciting. And they only happen once in a while, like once a year, or they, and they only happen here. So those are things that really make me want to do more for the community sometimes because those are things that I can help make happen. So those are really more of the favorite things that I have. Oh yeah.
Maaf. Oh, ya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gotta be. <laughs> oh, where is it? <laughs> No. <laughs> um, that depends. Are we talking starving to death or going crazy? Answer however you like. You well, know, in that case, then it has to be who will, you know, starving to death. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got, you know, more meat on him. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Overachiever. Overachiever. <laughs> no question. Yeah, he can't even okay, uh, put it. Second. Yeah, exactly. He, he'd die. Okay, wow, that one hit me too. Well, mentally or physically? Hold on. It's a, like it's subjective. Subjective. But no, we know. I'm going that way. <laughs> We're here at Q Ideas now. The second generation, uh, the daughter is kind of taking the lead and carrying it into the future. So yeah, you see there's a lot of stuff here, beautiful plants, we have cookware as well. So, you know, maybe we can go inside and take a look. Plants make your house beautiful. Uh, yeah, they got money trees. Um, you get the this plant. They have a lot of very um, hard to find items here. This is Coco Chanel. Oh, this is where you can get uh, different cookware. You can have a wok. Get your wok, get your cooking in here. This one, these are the metal chopsticks. These are really great for um, if you're grilling. Both Jennifer and I, we have similar stories. Our families are both from Vietnam as refugees. They were part of, you know, kind of the growing Vietnamese community here. I think that both Jennifer and I, we are kind of carrying on that legacy of our parents, um, of what they've contributed to this community with what we're doing today. Jennifer is taking over her father's pharmacy. And, and for me, you know, I've worked for different various nonprofits uh, within the Argyle community. But also like together, we actually do something um, outside of that called Hai Baya, which is kind of an initiative kind of nightlife, art, music, entertainment type of thing that is trying to kind of draw culture back within the second generation. 